So I've been playing around with some of my favorite and most notable additions to PHP 7.1. And in this course, we're gonna look at each of these and we're also gonna look at a couple of practical examples as well of where you might implement these because it's all well and good talking about them, but sometimes you need to know how these are applied. Now, if you've not watched the course on the best of PHP 7, then this will cover the really big bang additions to PHP 7. So I'd recommend you watch that first. But if you've already seen that, or if you already know uh, what the additions are to PHP 7, then we're gonna talk about PHP 7.1. So uh, the way that I basically switch between different versions to test different things out is using the PHP 7 uh, dev Vagrant box. So we're going to go and install this. You'll need VirtualBox. If you don't have anything like Homestead already installed, if you don't work with Laravel, go ahead and install VirtualBox. It works with any operating system and the same with Vagrant as well. They're pretty easy to go ahead and get installed. Now you're also going to need Git because we're going to Git clone down this box. We're going to CD into it do a vagrant up, SSH in, and we'll uh, do some more setup here. If you already know how to do this, or if you already have this box installed, uh, then of course you can skip the rest of this video. So I'm gonna come over to the terminal. I'm currently just inside of a uh, www directory, which I basically use for all of my projects. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clone this down. So I'm just pasting this in, and I usually just call this PHP 7 dev, just so it's there and ready to go. So once that's done, let's go into PHP 7 dev and let's go and do a vagrant up on this. Now this might take a while depending on if you actually have this box already installed, uh, but we'll wait for this to finish and then we'll go ahead and uh, continue. Now, once this has uh, booted up, we are just gonna need to choose how we connect to the internet. And in my case, I'm connecting over Wi-Fi, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose one. Uh, this might be slightly different for you. And now that we've done that, that will go ahead and boot this machine up. We can SSH into it, and we're gonna create a symbolic link between a folder uh, so we can sync our local files to the VM. One more thing though, just while this is finishing, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new tab, and I'm gonna come over to my Etsy hosts file. Uh, on Windows or any other operating system, I have absolutely no idea how you would change over uh, your host file, but go ahead and Google around for that and you'll find it. Basically, all we need to do is add this to our host file so we can know how to resolve this. So if we go ahead and pop that in there and go ahead and save this out, that should all be good to go. So let's come over to the terminal here. This should nearly have finished. And there we go. So if we do a Vagrant SSH now to go into the box, we'll take a look at what kind of files we have in here. We'll check the PHP version and then we'll create that symbolic link. So uh, we're booted in here, we have a source and a PHP source directory. If we just first of all do a PHP V, you can see that we're running uh, PHP 7.1 dev. Now we can actually switch between versions if we want to using new PHP. We're not gonna do that because we already have this set up, but you can go ahead and run that to switch between any versions. So what we now need to do is uh, just on our local machine or even within our VM, but it's a little bit easier to do it within our local machine, is come over to PHP 7 dev within that directory that I added it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make a source directory just inside of here. Now inside of our VM, if we come over to slash vagrant, uh, we'll see that source file just down here. And what we need to do is create a symbolic link between this and our source directory just here. So if we first of all boot this up in our browser, we'll be able to see this. So I've just come over to uh, literally PHP 7 dev, that thing that we added to our host file, the URI that we added to our host file. And we can see here that we can actually find out our document root. So if we just search for this, you can see it's var dub 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 default. So what we can do is inside of our VM now, we can create a symbolic link between this and that folder that we created uh, locally, and this will sync up all of our files. So we can actually write code on our machine, and then these will be synced to our virtual machine. So we're gonna create a symbolic link uh, from var dub 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 default, or rather from vagrant source to var dub 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 default, uh, and we're just gonna run that again with pseudo permissions. And I've opened up that source directory that I created uh, just within there a moment ago. If we go and save out a file in here, so for example, index.php, and go ahead and write anything in here that we want. And you can call this folder whatever you want. It probably makes more sense to call it www or something like that. Uh, either way, when we come over to here now, and run over to the source directory, you can see that we get this out. So we can edit these on our local machine. They'll be synced to our virtual machine. And we can, of course, see them in the browser uh, accessing this 
through the virtual machine. So just quickly then, if you did want to switch between PHP versions, you can run new PHP, and this will give you a list here of all of the versions that you can switch between. And this is just tends to be how I switch between versions if I need to very quickly test things out. What we are gonna do throughout the course is also have a, a PHP 7 box running. I'm actually gonna be using something like MAMP or uh, if you're using Windows, WAMP or whatever. And we're gonna be testing the difference between PHP 7 and PHP 7.1. But what you can do is run new PHP and then the version number. Now in our case, we're using 7.1 and we know that we are because when we do PHP slash V, we get the following. So now that we're all set up, uh, we can go ahead and look at all of the things that we're gonna cover that are new in PHP 7.1 in this course.